What's up, Junkie Nation? Gorgeous George and Goes deliver again another combat sports superstar. It's Rachel Ostovich, who we have covered as an MMA fighter and recently as a bare knuckle fighter. What's going on, Rachel? How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me on. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, um, what a debut. I mean, at, at, at bare knuckle. That, that was the last time you competed in combat sports. We covered you a lot through the Ultimate Fighter, MMA, but now we know you as somebody that's participating in Bare Knuckle, and that was one heck of a debut, um, huge fight. I know it's been a while, but how do you feel about it and what might be next for you? Um, yeah, it's it's been a, it's been a minute. Um, had some injuries after the fight. It's definitely different from MMA. Um, so what's next is, um, you know, I've had some offers, but I'm just kind of waiting on um, the, nego the negotiations between my manager and the promotions. So Bare Knuckle is another, um, is, in, is of interest, but it's just um, if the numbers match, then yeah. <laughs> I, did see you, I did see you smiling and grinning when I was giving the intro and I thought, hmm, so is your offers coming from the world of bare knuckle MMA and something else as well? Or what, 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 what can you share with us that, that wouldn't give away, I guess, um, the, the, the big, big news or. Um, I mean, I can't give away too much, but yeah, that's, you know, basically it, you know, I'm a fighter. Um, I'm still down for MMA and there has been offers for MMA. Um, but at this point I'm kind of just, uh, waiting to see what, makes the most money here so that's where i'm at <laughs> would it be just those two or is there another sport that's hollering um <laughs> no i think it's just those two for now <laughs> and if the money's the same where do you prefer to compete in mma or, or bare knuckle mm, i don't know they both have their pro, um, their pros and cons so it really is just money talks for me right now can you give me one of each, a pro and a con on each one? Uh, well, bare knuckle. I feel that it's shorter rounds. It's two minutes, one minute break. I feel like coming from MMA, five minute rounds with one minute breaks. I feel like that's like amazing, and that really worked to my advantage. Um, with bare knuckle, I really liked bare knuckle because it was all stand up, and I really like the stand up boxing game and even the dirty boxing. Uh, cons is of the obvious it's bare knuckle so the damage is a lot worse I've um, experienced it for myself <laughs> you know I fought MMA for over 10 years and um, man this is you know bare knuckle is definitely a whole different game so that's that and um, with MMA um, as it's like a pro and a con because like I love that there's so many different aspects to the game. You know, you know, I never get bored of it. I mean, I'm always learning. Got it. Same with my people too. Um, but I feel like that's also a con as well because um because there's so much going on with uh, ground game, top game, there's a lot more to focus on. Also mm -hmm. the the rounds are longer. And um yeah, I got paid better at BKFC than I ever did in MMA, so. Got it. That. Okay. That's a, that's a great answer. I mean, it's thorough. It's what the yeah. fans want to know because you're obviously a very, very popular fighter, and, and you had, you just came off a huge fight. So let me do a couple follow-ups here. You said a couple injuries from the fight. Is it just safe to assume your hands, or or was there other types of damage? Is, is that something you can reveal to us? Yeah, so, yeah, my hands were busted. I couldn't even punch for, like, two months after the fight. Oh, wow. I, I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure how the other girls um, fight, like, back-to-back. -back. Um, but I do know I hit really hard. And um, with bare knuckle, like, I remember everyone, like, uh, people would be like, oh, don't punch, you know, 100%. You're going to break your own hands. Like, punch, like, you know, under, like, 60%. So I see a lot of the girls punching, you know, not all out. But when I when I fought, I was punching. I was going broke. Like, I was just giving it my all. Like, I usually do. I, I like to throw down. So um, that's just uh, the consequences of that. So my hand was busted. Um, I, had a, I had a whole bunch of um, just super tender all up in here. My nose. Like, the damage is for real. 
So that's why I'm so heavy on the money part. I'm like, make it worth my time. Because if I get seriously injured, which I've seen people, you know, get injured or even death, um, you know, I need to be worth, I need to make some money off of it. You know, I have a kid. I live in Hawaii. It's like one of the most expensive places to live. So, yeah. Nobody's hating on your reasoning for sure. You make all valid points. I do want to ask you though, without revealing numbers again, you know, we're, we're nosy, but we're not over the top nosy. Are you guys close? You know, is this something like where you're like, oh, it's going to be a while or are the numbers almost there? Like maybe another text or another email and bam, we got ourselves a fight. Um, I think it's another text or two. Yeah. I think so. Oh, that's good news. That's good to know. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Rachel, yeah. so I actually gotta hit up my, my manager after this. So hopefully I find out some good news. A lot of people that have done bare knuckle talk about how it took maybe two, three fights before they kind of understood how to properly train for it and get everything uh properly, you know, the hands, training the hands for the hits and all that. But you just kind of that night, the thing that I remember was you just seemed like the most natural person when you went in there and you did it. Your technique was was great. And um, obviously the result was good for you. How did you feel at the end of the night as far as just performance wise? Do you feel like a second time, a third time around would be even better? Can you top what, what, what you did that night? Oh, yeah, I definitely can top what I did that night. Um, that was my first fight in bare knuckle. I was. Uh, I mentioned it before, like, that was the first time I was actually kind of scared, uh, like, train in training camp, I'm like, dang, like, this is, this is really, really out of my comfort zone. I had so much people tell me, like, don't do it, you know, like, that's crazy, why are you doing this? But then again, I've had that my whole life with MMA, so kind of late. <laughs> and if I've listened to them all this time, I wouldn't be where I'm at now. So, um, it was something that I I wanted to do, but I was scared to do it. So I knew I had to do it. Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. Um, I think my second fight going back in, I'll definitely know what to prepare for as far as um, bare knuckle. There's a lot of different techniques that you can slide in there to get an advantage. And um, I worked a lot of it in the first fight as well. And um, it's kind of one of those things, like, uh, I knew it's bare knuckle, I know it's going to be sore, but it's just mentally I had to prepare myself, which I did um, spiritually, you know, physically. Yeah, like, I was I was ready to go in there, and there was no way I was going to come out as a loser. No way. I was ready to die. So that was that. <laughs> Rachel, now, so you're one and one with Paige Van Zandt, right? One was in mixed martial arts, one was in bare mm -hmm. knuckle. Um, did you feel like one, like maybe yours might have been a little sweeter just because it was hand to hand coming? You guys were going at it right then and there. Do you feel like a third fight eventually has to happen? And is there almost like a certain, does it have to happen in boxing that we need to put in a, a third different type of fight? Does it have to happen in bare knuckle and MMA? I know that's a lot, but what do you think? It's funny because you said a third type of fight. And I just seen last night someone posted like a pillow fighting thing in like a cage. I was like, what is this? I'm down. <laughs> but um, yes, you know, it was it was real sweet. I'm not going to lie. Like I wanted to fight Paige. That that was like the whole reason why I went to BKFC because they, they, they were asking me. They are asking me for a while to like fight BKFC. And I was just like, no, 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 no. I don't really want to do that. That's kind of nuts. And then um, I was like, you know what? I I, I seen Paige fight um, with a Brit Britain Hart, and I was like, oh, I can do this. Like, I know I can. I can. I know I can beat her. But it's just like committing myself and you know going through with this process of bare knuckle, and um, I did. And there was no way. Like I said, there was no way I was gonna lose. And I came out victorious and it was, it felt so nice, not only getting that, that win back, but getting a win period because it, it was a while. It did take some time. So it feels nice. I did want to ask just a couple more, uh, Rachel, if bare knuckle were to meet your price and let's just say you did three more fights, maybe won a title, title defenses, whatever. 
my point is, could you are you are you ready to be done with MMA? Um, or do you still, despite what may happen in the immediate future with Bare Knuckle, would you like to return to MMA? Yeah, I'll return to MMA. I just this right now, um, BKFC is it's really hot right now, and they pay they pay me really good. So that's where I'll be if you know, like, and MMA is a lot. It's 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 a, it's a lot, and I felt like I was almost going broke fighting an enemy. Uh, um, so BKFC is where I'm at for right now, and hopefully we can get on the same page. If the money is correct and your hands continue to heal, or maybe they're already at 100, when would you like to fight if it was up to you? Like, is there a month in 2022? I, I imagine you're looking at next year, right? Yeah, um, I know. I was trying to get one in by the end of this year, but it's just not going to happen at this point. Um, I would like to fight at the end of January or February, mid-February, somewhere in that timeline. So that's where I'm aiming. Have they told you if they – because I know they have two championships, Bare Knuckle and Police Gazette. Is there any of that that you're worried about or even gunning for at this point, Uh, you know, straps? I'm sorry, what was the question? You kind of broke up. Well, Bare Knuckle has um, champions under the Bare Knuckle, I guess, banner, and then they also have Police Gazette belts. So I guess that's the old school, original um, Bare Knuckle belts that have uh, that have continued on, you know. And yeah. In Bare Knuckle, I don't believe they have women's champions, but I think Police Gazette they do. So I guess my question is, Is are you even concerned with belts, or are you just more of a prize fighter, prizes and, like, you know, money? Um, yeah, belts are cool, um, but, um, I'm, I'm down for whatever I'm down. I think I, I think I could be the champ there. Um, I don't think that's, I don't think that's out of reach. Um, so that's definitely in, you know, in my cards, if I wanted to pursue it, it's, I think if, if it, it's just like what I want to do, like if I want to pursue it and if it makes, you know, sense, then I'm down. I like to fight. Okay. And lastly, is Paige, you know, like my brother said, you know, you guys are one one, but she lost after you guys fought. So she is she even on your radar right now? Would you, is that something you build up to, or is that something that you strike while the iron's hot in case you do resign quickly? Um I don't I don't think we're gonna go there again um i don't think she wants to fight i think she after the fight she texted me and said like let's be cool like let's be friends and i was like shoots thought we were (laughs) (laughs) but yeah no we're cool um but yeah like i said if the money's right that works you know like i'm down um but me and Paige, I know that um, I'm so grateful for her because I know that me and her are good um, foils for each other, and um, we help each other's careers. You know, she helped mine. I'm sure I helped hers, and um, yeah, who knows? That's a very kind and respectful thing to say about an opponent that you shared time with in two different uh, sports. So very cool. But I, man, I got to see a tiebreaker, even if it's a game of ping pong. Or even if you were serious about the pillow fight, it, it seems like there just has to be a, a tiebreaker somewhere, you know? Even a game of Jenga or something. I don't know. Something. I think um, I think we were supposed to do like a photo shoot together or something. I know I know there's I know that's not the end of me and her. Um, but um, whether it's fighting or whatever. But yeah, we definitely have a lot of respect for each other. Um, I guess even like before the fight, uh, we were supposed to win at 25 and I like asked her, I'm like, yo, do you want to just fight at 30? Cause I know like me and her are both thick. We're both thicker girls. And she was like, yeah, let's just, you know, like, like let's see if we can fight at 30. Um, like she, we're cool. Like we're professionals and which I respect that because I've seen some other fights in BKFC and I was like, whoa, like that's not what I'm used to. So I was grateful that Paige, me and Paige were like, you know, respect. We respect each other, and you know the professionalism was there. 
were you ever told by the promotion you guys broke a certain record? Is, is there anything that that you could that you can use to at the bargaining table in terms of either pay per views or social media views or anything like just so that the world gets an idea of just how big that fight was and and obviously that's that's bargaining that you would use on your behalf. Yeah, I mean, I know we, I know we brought in a lot of views and a lot of attention with you know the MMA world too. I see a lot of new MMA fighters. I mean, MMA fighters from like the UFC, they're like doing BKFC now. Like, I know I brought a lot of eyes and and I know like our worth, my worth. So, um, and I, I'm pretty sure they know it as well. So I think it makes negotiations a little easier for my manager. Um, so we'll see from there. You heard her, Brian Butler. Go out there and get that cheddar. Um, she's ready to fight. She's ready to fight. And uh, obviously, a lot, a lot of people enjoy watching her compete. So Brian's a good friend of ours, and that's why I'm just giving him a little bit of heat here. But uh, sounds like you guys are close, and hopefully he brings it home. And Rachel, I want to thank you so much for joining us today on MMA Junkie Radio. And um, happy Thanksgiving to you and yours. Oh, happy Thanksgiving to you guys, too. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. I really appreciate it.